In this example, we are going to find the inverse of the following function if possible. In part A, h of x equals 2 times the fifth root of x plus 3. In part B, s of x equals x plus 4 divided by negative x plus 3. So for part A, first step, we are going to rewrite the function in the terms of the y. And the next step, we're going to solve for x. To solve for x, we're going to isolate x by itself, starting with subtracting 3 both sides to get y minus 3 equals 2 times the fifth root of the x, and then divide both sides by 2. y minus 3 divided by 2 equals the fifth root of x. And after that, we're going to rest both sides to the fifth power. to obtain x equals y minus 3 over 2 quantity to the power of s. And in step number 3, we're going to replace x with the notation f inverse, and then y with the x. So we have x minus 3 divided by 2 quantity to the fifth power equals the f inverse of this function. For the next part, f of x equals x plus 4 divided by negative x plus 3. So we start with step number 1. We place the notation s of x with the y. We have y equals x plus 4 divided by negative x plus 3. And then step number 2, we're going to solve for x. To solve for x, we're going to start with multiply both sides by the denominator, negative x plus 3. So y multiplied by negative x plus 3 equals x plus 4. Distribute y to both terms, get negative x times y plus 3 times y equals x plus 4. Next, collect the term that containing x in one side. We have negative xy minus x and then move other terms over, negative 3y plus 4. Continue over here. Now we have the common factor, negative x and x here. So we factor the x out to be negative y minus 1 in the parentheses equals negative 3y plus 4. To solve for x, we divide both sides by negative y minus 1. So negative 3y plus 4 all divided by negative y minus 1. And in the third step, we're going to replace x with the inverse notation. Replace y with the x. And we are done.